Okay, so this is the second lesson about rhythm. Um, hopefully you um, did some follow-up work and you did some clapping and you figured out some different rhythm patterns of some words. And um, now I'm gonna show you how we can write it down. Um, the words that we did before, we'll just use them as an example. So mother had two claps, mother. So we're gonna just put two lines. And grandfather was clap, clap, clap. So we're gonna do clap, clap, clap. And these two are gonna be connected because they happened more quickly. Mother, grandfather. Now we'll do Uncle Bob. And the uncle was the clap clap, uncle, and then Bob. Mother, grandfather, uncle, Bob. Uncle was faster, so we're connecting them. All right, next came Grandma Carol. Grandma Carol. So that's going to be two connected here for Grandma and two connected here for Carol, Grandma Carol. Um, and then mom was just one clap, but it was sort of a long clap. So for that one, we're just gonna make a circle. It is one clap, but it's kind of a long one. Um, now pop, that was one clap, but it was kind of a quick one. So I'm going to put it down here. There's our one clap. But there's this thing that we put next to it, which I can't do quite right, which is a rest. A rest means no rhythm. So you know that there is a clap, and then there's a not clap. So that helps us know how quick this one goes by. And then we did Ariel. Clap, clap, clap. So clap, 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 all connected. All right, so that's how we're going to do the different types of rhythms that happen with different types of words. But um, this is just the very beginning. And what we like to do, actually, we'll scoot you right to it, because um, you're elementary students, so you can do this is we turn them into notes. So there's mother and there's grandfather, grandfather. Here's uncle Bob. Here's grandma Carol. And then there's mom. And we'll just put a stick on it. I'm sorry it's up so high. I should have put it down. But we purposefully keep it empty instead of filling it in. And that shows us that it's a longer piece of note, a longer rhythm. Then this one was pop. And there's a rest. And here's Ariel. Da, da, da. So... This is how to notate all the different kinds of rhythms um, that there are. And let's remember, this is one word and this is another word. This is one word and this is, well, I guess we call them two words because it's Uncle Bob and Grandma Carol. But you'll find words that fit this pattern or that pattern. This is one word. This is one word. So these are all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different ways of writing down the rhythms of certain words. So what I want you to do for follow-up work is 
remember all those words that you let the names and maybe some words around the house that you were clapping and figuring out the rhythm for well now I would like you to write them down on a piece of paper and um, leave space so just on a regular piece of paper with lines if you have or without but you you write the word and you leave some space above it so skip a line write some word skip a line write a word skip a line write a word and above each word I'd like you to notate how the rhythm of that word goes so um, maybe you did baby sister or maybe you did dad <laughs> maybe you're yelling for dad dad um, or brother Joe or big sister um, or just people's names or names around the house so go ahead and do follow-up work please and uh, make a list of names and just words of anything and put the proper notation above them and just do a zigzag for the rest that's the best I can do too so it looks it looks well enough all right and then we'll do some more after you've done that all right, till next time.